So this skill is measuring respirations. It's just like pulse, only you're counting their breathing instead of counting their pulse. So again, you're gonna have this recording measurement form at state where you're gonna to have to put in their respirations and sign it off. It won't say record pulse. Of course, it'll say record respirations. So I need to wash my hands. Hello. Hi, Ms. Stefanski, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Good, I'm Brenda, I'm gonna be your CNA. Okay. I'm gonna count your breathing, okay? okay? Now look, in real life, if you're counting somebody's breathing, now they're aware of it and they can change it up on you. Um, but for state skills, it says for everything you do, you need to tell them what you're there to do first. So we're gonna go ahead and tell her we're there to count her respirations. And I need to watch her breathing for one whole minute. Remember that one breath in and one breath out equals one respiration. Okay. So you'll have to kind of notice where the patient's breathing from. Some of your patients will breathe from up here. Some is the chest, some is the abdomen. So kind of figure out where you see it the best. And for her, it'd be right there. So I'll watch her breathing and then time it. Okay, so after one minute's gone by. All right, Miss Candace, you're breathing uh, 13 times a minute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so do you need anything to drink or no, you want to go back to bed? Uh, I'm okay. I'll stay here for a while. Okay. All right. Well, you have your call light. If you need anything, uh, don't forget to call us, okay? Okay. All right. Wash your hands, and with all of your skills, make sure that you provide privacy. 